Hello. Hello, Good afternoon. Teacher. How are you guys? How are you? I'm Hi. very well. Nice, nice to see you guys. Thank you for being on time. Yo dije, ay, yo no voy a entrar temprano, pero rápido se actualizó el sistema, guys. I had to do like a very, very, um, a very quick update, but I am here on time as well. So thank you, guys. Um, any questions? No questions? So today we will try to finish everything. Uh, remember, we were just doing a reading and the reading had a couple of questions to answer. Estábamos pendientes con eso, right? I asked you to read a little bit. Así que ahora vamos a continuar, okay? Um, what we are going to identify today is in which paragraph we are talking about certain topics. For example, when asked about this popularity, she said, I really wrote it for myself. ¿En cuál de los párrafos está eso? Eso es lo único que vamos a, a, a escoger. Así que leamos, guys, to identify where, okay? Esa es, el, esa es la tarea que tenemos ahora. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver los valientes que quieren leer, que no les da pena que los corrijan y quieren aprender a leer más rápido. Ok, come on. Ivania, nice to see you. Help me, Ivania, vaya. Ivania la veo que sí, quiere, que sí quiere leer, ¿verdad? Ya que ayer no la vi, así que hoy sí. Okay. How do you say? Estoy ronca. <laughs> I have a throat, a throat, a sore throat. I have a throat. Ronca. Okay. 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 I uh, can try. Um, the magic. Un poquito nada más. Vaya. Comenzamos aquí nada más. Yeah, the magic okay. of this hasta el Harry Potter. Chiquitito le vamos a dejar que lo lea. Okay. And the article, where was author G.K. Rowling when she got the idea for Harry Potter? But that is a question, Ivania. For Stand the article. Where was, where was the author Rowling when she got the idea for Harry Potter? All right, vamos. Okay. La entonación, please. Stand the article. Where was author author G.K. Rowling when she got the idea for Harry Potter? Yeah. Continue. There was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Thank you. All right. The second, guys, please continue, continue, continue. Now we are many, como les digo, me, 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 se me complica estar escogiendo los guys, así que denle los que quieren participar, ¿ok? Porque después, pues, unos se sienten forzados y los otros me dicen, ah, a mí no me dijeron, a mí no me dijeron, a mí nunca me dijeron que leyera. Así que no, lo vamos a hacer eh, um, voluntarily, all right? Continue. Teacher, yo. Me teacher. Nice. Yes, Janira. Nice. Me Tell. teacher. Now the adventures of this extraordinary... Adventures? adventures? of this extraordinary student at Howard's School of Witchcraft and Wizardry are read in over... A red, forified, son leídos. Are read. Red, red, <laughs> are read in over 45 language, languages, Inclu including Russian, Russian. Thai, Russian, Thai, and even ancient, ancient, ancient Greek. Okay. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon, and not even J.K. Rowley, his creator. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am I am kind of confused. It says J.K. Rowling when she got the idea, but he, here it says when uh, his creator. 
So I don't know uh, who is, do you know about Harry Potter? Who was the creator? It's a woman or a man? No idea. You're not the ones who like Harry Potter, right? Not, not even me. A mí tampoco me gustó Harry Potter. Hay alguien que le gustó, guys? Me? Yeah, Vanessa. Me? Like yes. it. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a little bit, you know, this, um, I couldn't, I couldn't understand all the, all the movies. That is why probably I, I didn't like it uh, uh, too much. But yeah, I know that there are many people, many fans around the world for this movie. Okay, the sec who wants to continue with the number, uh, with the number two, please. Mm -hmm. huh? Huh? Hola. Hello. Yes, Edenilson, you want to read? Yes. Desde donde? Number two, J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling was born in England in 1965. From a young age, she knew she wanted to be a writer. Want it? Want it? Want it? to be a writer. Right. When she was six, she wrote her first story about a rabbit that gets sick. At school, she used to make up stories to tell her friends. Excellent. Make up stories. Lo que les dije ayer, hoy sí lo estamos siguiendo, ¿verdad? Make up stories. No decimos make up eh, stories. Excellent, Edenilson. Thank you. Number three, number three. Guys, ayúdenme con las cámaras, please. Voy, voy a share. Okay. No. Yes, Gustavo, go. Down the page, teacher. Number three. Uh -huh. down, down the page. Okay. Sure. Go. Okay. After graduating from college, she worked as secretary. Work but she... Worked well? as work test. Work as. Aquí unimos la to, una T con la. She worked as. Great as. Mm -hmm. Work as. As secretary. Secretary. Mm -hmm. But she didn't give up her dream. Mm -hmm. She spent her lunch or reading stories, lunch mainly hour for Friday. adults. She spent her lunch, lunch hour, hour, her lunch hour, reading, reading, writing stories, writing stories, writing stories, writing stories. Writing stories. Okay, continue, writing continue. Writing stories, mainly for adults. Okay. Then, then in uh, 19, 19, 1990. Mm -hmm. uh, on a train trip, trip to London. On a trip to London. She got the idea for the boy wizard. All right, got the idea for the boy wizard, ¿verdad? For el wizard. joven brujo o hechicero. Okay, thank you, she Gustavo, signed, very good. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Continue, continue. She said he, he used upper uh, he says head. he just appeared in his head. Oh, in his head. One more time. She said he just appeared in her head. She said he just appeared in her head. Okay. Says, eh, perdón, en tercera persona, por eso se dice says, says, como SS, SS, right? Says. Si yo digo I say, Pero tercera persona lo cambio para says. She says, okay, and she got the idea, just appear, right? Just appear. Good, good job, Gustavo. Vamos a ver quién más. Quiero que todos lean, guys. Come on. No, continue. Aquí vamos, right? She. Este hasta el punto del número cuatro. Yo, teacher. Sure, go, go, después de Guadalupe, Jorge, porque ya vi que también quería participar, ¿ok? Si son creative, I will 
cast us a unique. Hole. <laughs> She's so cast us unique character to him, Harry Beater, the forces of darkness. Okay, one more time, Guadalupe. She soon created, yo sé que está todo blurry, I know it's kind of weird to read it. She soon created a whole cast of unique characters to help Harry battle la, la batalla, to help, to help Harry o hacer la batalla, ¿verdad? The forces of darkness, okay? One more time, vamos Guadalupe. En la cuatro, teacher. No, start over. repito. Yeah, please. <coughs> she soon created a wild cast. Created? I... Sorry, okay. teacher. She soon created. She soon created a wild cast. Cold. 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 A unique character. A to unique help. characters? To help, help, to her, help. Harry Bailey the forest battle. of dark. Harry battled Harry, the forces of darkness. Okay, the forces of darkness. The forces of darkness. Mm -hmm. Continue. He kept working on the history. Keep in the present. Sorry, Guadalupe. Sería he kept. He kept. El keep es en presente, con doble E, right? Keep. Ese es kept, el pasado. He kept working on the history. While history she was... es historia. Esta es, esta es como historieta, es the story. He kept working on the story, the story, the story. Teacher, si gusta que lea otro y yo leo al final, porfa. Vaya, vaya. Vamos, Jorge. She kept working. She kept working on the history while on the story. She, on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal where she married. Very good. Okay. Continue please with the other paragraph. Porque no ha terminado. Okay. I'll, I'll Had Had her first child and right. divorced a year later. When a she year, returned, year later, year later, when she returned to England, she brought back a sweet case of her reported stories. No, esta stories. La diferencia stories. entre stories son como las historietas, ¿verdad? Pero la history es la que lleva H, ¿ok? Esa es la, la historia de toda, el, de toda la humanidad, right? Ese es un history, como el history channel que lleva la, la H, ¿verdad? Aquí simplemente estamos hablando de historietas o de pe, pequeñas pasadas, ¿verdad? Ah, le va a contar una historia de las que nosotros contamos, las pasadas que, nos, eh, que, que, que experimentamos, ¿verdad? Eso es un story, ¿ok? So, uh, divorced, divorced a year later when she returned to England and she brought back a suitcase. Everybody, aquí no se pronuncia la I, solo es suitcase, all right? Suitcase. Suitcase. Uh -huh. suitcase. All right. Thank you. Can somebody read? Tengo solamente dos personas más que me puedan leer aquí, please. Go. Number five. Mm -hmm. Vanessa, you want to read? Because you're muted. <laughs> okay. Te vi la intención, pero no la escuchaba. <laughs> okay. After returning home, she was broke and living in a small, cramped apartment. She continued writing and in 1995 finished the first book in the series Harry Potter and the I don't know how do you say that Sorcerous Sor Sirius in the series la serie así se pronuncia um, Sirius yeah No teacher después de Harry Potter 
Harry Potter and the Sorceries. Sorceries. Sorceries Stone. Ay, que así se llamaba la película y no me acuerdo cómo, cómo se... Cómo, ¿Cuál fue? En la Piedra Filosofal, creo que era, ¿no? ¿Cómo se llamaba sí. esa película? Ajá. Sí. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer's Stone. Uh -huh. It was published in 1997 and became an unexpected bestseller. Unexpected. Unexpected. Unexpected bestseller. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Eh, the last one. The last one, Yo the last teacher. one. Okay. Okay. Rolling life has changed dramatically. She has become... Dramatically. Dramatically, she has become internationally famous and now earns around 40 million a year. She married... Uh... She remarried, se recasó. <laughs> she remarried... <laughs> Ya no miro por esa cosita. ¿Puedes subirlo Ay. un poquito? Eh, sure, sure, sure. Sorry. Uh, sí. Eh, she married her a second child and currently lives in Scotland. And currently lives. Acuérdense, el live es una cosa y aquí que dice que ahorita vive en... She lives. Ahorita se dice lives y el lives es otra cosa. Um, mm, let's see. Ahorita se los pongo por aquí. Tenemos dos verbos. Bueno, dos, dos palabras acá. Tenemos la live como en vivo. ¿Verdad? Como cuando alguien está transmitiendo en vivo o la clase está en vivo, right? We are on, on live right now. Eso es un live, ¿ok? Pero si tenemos las vidas, decimos lives. Este es el plural de life. It's my life. Como, eh, mi vida, ¿verdad? Ok, this is my life. Pero aquí dice que ella vive en, aquí si digo vive, se dice lives. Si es el verbo, se pronuncia como live, como una I, pero si es el nombre, se dice lives, ¿ok? Live, en vivo, vidas, en plural, lives. ¿Estamos, guys? Ahora, eh, let's do this. ¿Cuál sería lo correcto, guys? Eh, según los paragraphs que nosotros estamos viendo, look. And the number one, ¿cuál sería el number one? Paragraph two. Paragraph two. She always, she hated going to school, but always loved to read, all right? Let's do the paragraph two. When asked about his, this popularity, she said, I really wrote it for myself. What was that? Paragraph one. The, para the paragraph one, all right, thank you. And for number three, we have, there were times when she couldn't even afford to eat. Afford means no poder, o no ser capaz de, verdad, no, no pagar, no poder pagar algo, okay? No poder costearse, uh -huh. So she couldn't afford even to eat. Paragraph five. The paragraph five, all right. Despite, despite significa, guys, perdón, se lo voy a hacer más grande. Despite, a pesar de su nombre y fortuna, ajá, despite of her, her name and fortune, she's been able to keep her private life. What is that paragraph? Six. Six, okay. She didn't live, perdón, she didn't have a pen or paper with her, so she had to memorize it. Paragraph three. The three, thank you. Then, and the number, the last one. It was filled, fue como completado, ¿verdad? With the ten versions of the first chapter of the book. Lo que nos quedó fue? Paragraph four. Okay. Thank you, guys. Excellent. You did it correctly. Very good. 
si no lo hubieran hecho antes, nos hubiera costado más. Pero miren, cuando uno avanza, pues sí lo hace más rápido, ¿verdad? Thank you, guys. And now, let's see. We're going to do the listening activity, okay? So in this case, I'm going to open this in a second window. Le voy a ir poniendo pausa, ¿ok? Uh, no está, no pueden escuchar, ¿verdad? Nadie me dice nada, miren. Nadie me dice nada. Vaya, espérenme, guys. Ya le di play. Así que le voy a dar share sound. Sí tengo que We don't listen, clics. teacher. Hola, hello. <risa> We don't listen. Pues sí, hasta ahorita me dicen, hasta que me di cuenta como que... <risa> mmm, vaya, hoy sí. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct Now? answers. Yes. One. How was your trip to Egypt? Oh, it was incredible. I finally got to visit the pyramids. And what did you think? I learned so much. Like, did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know who built them? Yes, of course. They were built by the Egyptians. And did you go inside a pyramid? No. Most of the pyramids are closed to tourists. You can't go in, but I took a lot of photos from the outside. Do you want to see? All right, so what is the best option, guys? The Egyptian pyramids are not open to tourists. Are not open to tourists? Okay, nice. Let's see the second option. Great Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Two. Weren't you just on vacation in Africa? Well, actually, I was there for work, but I was able to take a couple of great trips that I'll never forget. Where did you go? I went to Victoria Falls on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia. The falls are amazing. I really enjoyed the trip. I'd love to go there. What about your other trip? I visited a huge stone wall called Great Zimbabwe. The area inside the wall is supposed to be big enough to hold a city with 20,000 people. It's the largest monument in Southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. Okay, what is the best answer? Great Zimbabwe is the large monument in Southern Africa. The largest monument in Southern, Southern Africa. Southern okay. Africa. Okay, the Greek, and then the number three. Three. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away, but it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah. I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived there nearly 2,500 years ago. It sounds like you really enjoyed it. I did. It was like an open-air museum with the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. Okay. What is the best answer? You see, Iceland has some large streets on, what do you say? <laughs> Okay. Easter Island has some large stations. What is the pronunciation? Stations. Stations. Yeah, stations. Um, shoes. Yeah, stations. Uh, the number four. Four. What have you been doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad.
Is it over? No se escucha la oración. No, 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 como eso ya es. No se escucha, teacher. Let me reopen it. Y vamos como por aquí. With the statues along the coast, archaeological sites, right? volcanic craters, and some fantastic beaches. Four. What have you been doing? I haven't seen you in a long time. I've been living abroad. I was working in Laos for a while. Laos? I just read an article about Laos. I've always wanted to go there. It's a beautiful country, especially the city where I lived. It was built at the point where the Mekong River meets the Khan River. Yeah, I think I read about it. Isn't that the place with lots of temples? Yeah, and fortunately, I had time to visit many of them. My favorite temple is called Golden City Monastery. It was built on the riverbank nearly 500 years ago. Okay. What is the answer? The city where the woman The city where the woman lived woman live is located where two rivers meet. All right, very good. All right. Uh, listen to the conversation and choose the correct information. Que nunca se me, nunca lo abro en el mismo en la misma página, guys. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. I wasn't surprised that the last Lord of the Rings movie won so many awards. It was fantastic. Did you like it, Joe? Sure. The acting was good and the special effects were great. It was an exciting movie, wasn't it? Yeah. But you know, Marion, I think Spider-Man was even better. What? You do? Why? Well, I've always been interested in superheroes like Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. <laughs> Did you used to read a lot of comic books when you were a kid? Of course. I loved reading comics about superheroes who do good things with their special powers. How about you? Well, I was fascinated by all Tolkien's novels. You know, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. Maybe that's why we like to see those types of movies today. Two. Okay. So the best answer, guys? Both Joey and Marianne were bored by the Lord of the Rings movie or thought that Spider-Man was a better movie, a better movie, uh, or are interested in movie because of what they used to read. Great to share. Very interesting interested they are interested in movies okay the second barbara okay here's some good movie trivia for you barbara all right what's the question who is the actor that starred in cold mountain oh that's easy it was ben affleck no you're wrong jude law was the actor who starred in that movie and do you remember who his co-star was wasn't it sharon stone wrong again you're terrible is she even making movies anymore well, I guess I haven't been to the movies in a while. How do you know so much about Hollywood news? I guess I read a lot of entertainment magazines. Three. Okay. Do you the answer is... So, being April. Okay, she's not updated at all, right? Um, she thought Ben Affleck was the actor who started a cold the, in a cold month. Okay, what does mandatory class attendance mean according to the audio? Do you understand what a teacher means when she says that attendance is mandatory? Well, I guess it probably means you have to go to class every day. You know, you won't be allowed to miss any classes this semester. 
Or maybe it means that the teacher will lower your grade if you miss a class. But what happens if I'm sick and I can't come to class? I don't know. Maybe we should ask her. Excuse. Wasn't it Sharon Stone? Wrong again. You're terrible. Is she even making movies anymore? Well, I guess I haven't been to the movies in a while. How do you know so much about Hollywood news? I guess I read a lot of entertainment magazines. Three. Do you understand what our teacher means when she says that attendance is mandatory? Well, I guess it probably means you have to go to class every day. You know, you won't be allowed to miss any classes this semester. Or maybe it means that the teacher will lower your grade if you miss a class. But what happens if I'm sick and I can't come to class? I don't know. Maybe we should ask her. Excuse me, Yukiko and I want to know what you meant when you said class attendance is mandatory. Oh, that means you must attend every class during the semester. Four. Okay, what did the teacher say? Or what did the professor say? It means you must attend every class during the semester. Okay, during the you two uh, must attend every class during the semester, right? And yes. what is true about the performance? Is that the correct one, guys? Yo creo que solo Jorge ha hecho estos ejercicios. Okay, thank you, Jorge. The last part. I can't believe it, Lynn. This is the first time I've seen a Broadway musical. Pretty exciting, isn't it, Brett? It sure is. By the way, it says here in the program that you have to turn off your cell phone before the performance starts. Oh, that's right. Thanks for reminding me. And it says you aren't allowed to take any photos or videos during the performance. Uh-huh. I knew that. No cameras or video cameras are allowed. And did you know that you can't eat or drink anything in the theater? Yeah. If you want, we can go outside during the intermission to get a snack. That's a good idea. Uh-huh. What, uh, what is true about performance? Hello? Number one. Second one, Mitch. Number one. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Brad has seen a Broadway musical before. Okay. Let's see the second. answers. The second. You're... Ah, so it's not, it's not, not the first one. It's the second. Okay. Okay. So, you're not allowed to receive phone calls. That's it. Okay. There you have the answers, guys. You already know. The idea is you to listen to the audio, okay, by yourself and try to analyze different um, different vocabulary as well. And then, then the second rewriting sentences. All right, help me read instructions. Alberto, ya le había puesto Jorge Alberto. Yes, you are muted. I cannot hear you. Microphone doesn't work. <laughs> no le funciona el micrófono. Yeah, that's what I see. The microphone doesn't work. His microphone doesn't work. Try to keep the environment in English, guys. All right. So who wants to read the instructions? Vamos entonces, Guadalupe me dijo que quería leer después. Así que solo esto vamos a hacer que lea, please. Instruction. Rewrite the sentence as possible. Sentence what be. Bye. What? What's bye? 
rewrite the sentences as passive sentences with by sentences sentences vaya chicos la es siempre se pronuncia verdad yo sé que la e nunca se pronuncia por ejemplo en muchas oraciones cuando digo sentence si no tuviera la S, no Hola, se pronuncia, buena. ¿verdad? La E es muda, pero la S siempre se pronuncia, ¿ok? Ahí sí sería sentences, ¿ok? Prince recorded the song Purple Rain. The song Purple Rain was recorded by Prince. Eso lo vimos anteriormente. Eh, ¿Cómo hacer un passive voice? En este caso, ocupamos el verbo en participio. ¿Se recuerdan? El verbo to be más el participio. ¿Ok? Si está en pasado, pues yo digo también en pasado participio. El pasado, el, el passive en pasado. Sería was recorded, recorded, was recorded. ¿Ok? Eh, Luca, George Luca directed uh, the Star Wars movie. Ayúdeme, please. Alguien que me ayude con number one. Ah. Uh. The Star Wars movies eh, were. Ah, uh -huh, very good. Movies, como estamos hablando uh -huh. de las. The Star Wars movies, movies en plural, eh, sería. Were. Were. were direct, directed. Directed o directed. Eh, by, uh -huh. by, directed muy bien. by George Lucas. George Lucas. Thank you. Uh -huh. Ok, ya le vamos a ver si hay algún puntito que necesita llevar, ¿verdad? Para que nos salga bien correcto todo. All right, what about number two, please? Help me. The world, the world, why, pero, pero, ve. The world, why, where? The World Wide Web, the World Wide Web. web. Was the love, mm -hmm. the love, the love, the love, ¿cómo se pronuncia? The World. Ajá, pero el de love. Wide the Web. Espera, me tiene que ir. Ajá. The Love Web by Tim. The World Wide Web. The World Wide Web was okay. developed by Tim Berners-Lee. Developed? Developed de mm -hmm. by Tim Berners-Lee. By Tim Berners-Lee. Thank you. The next number three, guys, was developed by... Let's put the period at the end. Number three. I am Fleming wrote the James Bond novels. Yes. The James Bond novels were wrote by Ian Fleming. Where wrote? Are you sure? Wrote? Yes. By I am Fleming. Vaya, lo vamos a dejar ahí y lo vamos a corregir después si hay algún error. Ok, I am Fleming. Ok, the next one, number four, guys. Gustav Eiffel designed the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Vaya, no sabía que eso lo, que lo había diseñado. Por eso se llama Eiffel, right? The Eiffel Tower. ¿Ok? Vanessa ya me dio hambre. I am hungry. <laughs> Why, teacher? Because <laughs> you're, 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 it seems that you're, ya se ya me vino a la mente that you're drinking like a milkshake or something. Pareciera como un milkshake bien rico. It's just water. Ah, really? Yes. Ah, pues voy a tomar agua también. So let me drink water. <laughs> es que esta está tibia. I don't like this one. 
Me gusta esta de otra gran, de otra gran botella, pero me da pena enseñarlo. Ok, this is colder. Mm -hmm. Esa está más heladita. So, Eiffel the, Tower, o oh, the, the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. the, the, Eif, the Eiffel Tower in Paris Tower. was designated by Gustavo Eiffel. Ok. Tower was designed designed Ah, con los verbos regulares no les cuesta encontrar el pasado, ¿verdad? Pero con el right ya me dijeron que es road. Ahí, ahí ya la vamos a arreglar. Ok. Eh, designed by Gustav, Gustav Eiffel. All right. Gustav Eiffel. Teacher in Paris was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The Eiffel Tower in Paris. Yeah. Thank you. I will send you the uh, the the word the answers and the chat. Okay. Ahí solo las copian y después las pegan para que no les cueste. Teacher. So you just copy and write it. Yes, Jorge. And the the sentence three is writing. Writing. I see. I see. Writing. Written. Written. Muy bien. Written. Exactly. Sorry. Se, se parece, en verdad, pero es así. Uh, re, written. Ok. Esta sí. Así se pone. Y con doble T, ¿verdad? Written. All right. Written. Yeah. Ese es el participio, guys. Ok. No es wrote. Ese es el pasado. Ok. El participio tiene que ser written. Ok. Was written by... Ok, thank you. Now, vamos a ver la second part. Instructions. Can you read instructions? I think so. I, ya yes. Ya funciona. Yeah, it works now. Ya funciona. It works already. Yeah. Tell me. Re ok. Rewrite the sentences using who, that, or which. Remember, to add a period at the end. A period at the end. Yeah, siempre al final en algún casi siempre hay que poner los eh, los puntitos, all right? Eh, so, help me with number one, guys. Please read 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 for me, okay? And tell me what would be the um, what would be the the structure. Lo copiamos todo. Ok, y solo le agregamos, ya sea which, who or that, ok. ¿Cómo, cómo la pondríamos entonces? How do you form it? Comedies are a type of movie that usually make people laugh. Very good, all right. That usually make people laugh. Okay. The number two, Two and a Half Men, is a popular TV show and it starred uh, Charlie Sheen. Men. Uh -huh. How do you form the, 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 the structure using which, that, or who? If which. Which, ok. Which stars. Which Charlie stars, Sheen. ok. Entonces le quito el punto y le pongo aquí which, ¿verdad? Which stars. Which stars. Pero sin la doble de mayúscula. Is that, teacher, is that. Dejémosla con which también, porque acuérdense que eh, estamos hablando del TV show. Puede ser which también. Veamos si nos permite y si no lo cambiamos. It's okay. Okay, don't worry. Charlie's Theron, it's an actress. Charlize, a saber cómo se pronuncia. Charlize Theron, I don't know about actors, guys. Yo sí estoy igual que la chica de, la, de, de las movies, ¿verdad? Que no sabe 
ni ha ido a los, a, los, a los cines hace un montón, así que de actores no sé mucho. So I don't know much about actors or actresses. Yes? Charlize. Charlize, all right. Thank you. So how do you form it? Thank you. <laughs> Charlize Theron. Theron? No, Theron. Theron. Uh -huh. It's Charlize Theron. Charlize Theron. Thank you. Vamos a ver quién es ella. Okay, she won an Oscar for performance in, a mo in Monster. Of, uh, for her performance in Monster. Monster. I haven't watched that movie. What is the answer? It's who? Who? Charlize who? is an wow. actress. ¿A dónde va? Uh, is an actress who won. Very good. Right. Who won. Vamos a ver. Parcialmente correcto. Vamos a ver. Mire, which podría ir también aquí, ¿ve? Sí, eso está correcto. El que tenemos incorrecto es este. ¿Qué es lo que ahí puse mal yo? The Eiffel Tower in Paris. Ah, es esta metiche. Right. Ok. Was designed by Gustav Eiffel. Y creo que el puntito les faltó. Ok. Let me see. Hoy sí. Les voy a mandar ahí todito para que ustedes solo lo copien y lo peguen en su, pro, en su próximo. Uh, 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 en el WhatsApp se los mando, guys, para que no tengan problemas con la respuesta. Just a second. Espérame, que está cargando. The page is loading right now. Vaya, hoy sí se los mando por aquí, guys. This is number one. And number two, this one. Si ustedes ponen that en lugar de which, no hay problema tampoco, ¿ok? Both are correct. Number four. Justo con el puntito, acuérdense. And the last part. Tell me these are type of are a type of movies. Charlize Theron. Okay. Where is she from? Where is Charlize Theron from? ¿De dónde es ella, chicos? She is South African. Oh, South African. Ok. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. So you like movies, guys. A little bit. So, so. Mire, tenemos un reading otra vez. Miren, de lo que tanto les encanta a ustedes. Ok, pero eso lo vamos a dejar para mañana. Because we're going to complete the others. Um, this exercise. El reading lo vamos a dejar para mañana, creo. ¿Quiero ver? Y sí, lo dejamos para mañana porque ya no nos va a alcanzar. Solo vamos a terminar la letter C and letter D right now. Completed, uh, completing choice. Completing choice. Esta es súper fácil, solo es de escoger, ¿verdad? Easy, easy, easy as a piece of cake. El que sí puede costarles es que a veces no le ponemos una cosita y en eso es que nos, nos equivocamos. Así que este va a ser el único que va a ser más complejo. 
So guys, can you help me read? English. Is, is, is spoken. Very good. I, I love it, Glenda. No es is spoken, ¿verdad? Simplemente is spoken. Esa S la arrastro con la otra S y la, la hago así. Is spoken in Australia and New Zealand. Zealand. All right. Number two. Spanish and Portuguese. Vamos, chicos, lean. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Porque no leen, después están pronunciando las palabras así fatales, ¿ok? Hay que leer, hay que acostumbrarnos a leer, ¿ok? No le digo que todos que los leen fatal ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero la, la gente que no se acostumbra a leer, pues no lee bien, ¿ok? Vamos. Perfect. Complete answer. Spanish and Portuguese are thought at the school. Which one? The first or the second? The second. Are taught at school. Okay. Spanish and Portuguese are taught at school. At this school. Bye. Rice. The number three, guys. Rice is grown in many Asian countries. Asian countries. Okay. Asian. Thank you. Thank Asian. you, Chanira. All right. The number, uh, part number two, instructions. Can you read it? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Complete the sentence. Use the simple past or past continuous of the verbs. Verb, all right. Complete the sentences. Plural, plural, plural. Son oraciones. Complete the sentences. And use the simple past or past continuous. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? Ya sea el pasado continuo o el simple present, right? So, vamos, let's see the number one. Quiero que lo lean todo, guys. Para que tengan, que su mente sol, no solo diga met, no. ¿Por qué? ¿En qué contexto estoy ocupando este, esta forma del verbo? ¿Ok? Por eso es importante que leamos o tengamos una visión más, eh, más completa de por qué es que estoy dando esa respuesta, ¿verdad? Si solo met, no me dice nada. ¿De cuándo ocupo el met? Ahí sí. Ok, vamos. I met my best friend while I was talk, taking, taking? A business, taking a business course. Yeah, good job. Thank you, Glenda. All right. I met, el pasado, I met, by, I met my best friend while I was. While I was. While I was. All right. Eh, no estoy conociendo y conociendo y conociendo, por lo tanto no dije, estuve conociendo a mi amigo. Ah, no, lo conocí cuando usted estaba haciendo eso, ¿sí? Y, um, the number two. We were sleeping, but the storm woke us okay. up. Walk us, walk us up, okay, walk us up. Walk us up. Okay, we were sleeping, but the storm woke up. Walk up, walk us up, walk us up. Okay. The number three. Uh huh. Vamos el past progressive y el simple past, ¿verdad? Yep. No. Ted ¿Eh? was, was talking when his cell phone so sent went, went dead. Went dead. He was talking when his cell phone suddenly went dead, all right? Suddenly. Everybody say suddenly. suddenly. Repítalo, por favor. Suddenly. Repeat, please, teacher. Suddenly, suddenly. I don't hear you guys. Suddenly. suddenly. I was killing mosquitoes while my students were reading. Okay. 
Very good. Um, sí, ¿verdad? Estaba hablando cuando algo sucedió y interrumpió su llamada, ¿verdad? Por eso es con, con ING. Instructions with the second, the second part, guys. Vamos. Complete each sentence with the correct form. No, no veo el pedacito aquí. Ah, with of the, the correct word. form of the word. Mm -hmm. Of the word. You may either add ing. ING. ING to the adjective or uh, ED. Just type the adjective, not a complete sentence. Solo vamos complete a poner. Sentence. Ajá, very good. Not a complete sentence. No vamos a poner toda la oración, simplemente el adjetivo. So, I'm, I think. Vamos, help me, help me read, guys. Continue reading. Si se han fijado, hay muchas partes que tenemos que leer, así que necesito your reading, guys. Participation. I think animated film are fascinating. Excellent, very good. Animated films, animated, acordémonos el TED, siempre lo, lo digo, ¿verdad? Um, fascinated. Fascinating. Con ING, ¿ok? Thank you, fascinante, ¿verdad? O sea, las movies son así. Así que yo me siento fascinada. So I, I feel fascinated because of the movies. Ok, las movies me hacen sentirme a mí fascinada. Thank you. The second. We are both. We're both. We're, we're both interested. Interested. Reading, interested. Yeah. <laughs> reading in Midtown's latest book. Latest book, ok. El último libro de ella, eh, latest book. Entonces ahí digo, interested. Yo estoy interesada porque el libro es interesante. I am interested because the book is really interesting. Ok. Saying the number three. Come on, guys, we have two minutes only to finish, okay? Come on. I was surprising to see Marisa and, my, and Mitchell at the party. All right. So it's surprised or surprising with I and D. Surprising. Surprised. Surprising. surprising. Yo estaba sorprendida. Sería entonces con la ED, ¿verdad, guys? Surprised. Yo me estaba sorprendida. ED, sorprendida. ¿Ok? Um, the number four. Renting a movie is a boring way to spend Saturday night. Vaya, nos salieron correctas estas, solo que hay una que estaba diferente, ¿verdad? Ya es el pasado, el pasado participio es taught, ¿ok? Ya es, ¿cuál es el, el verbo normalmente, guys? Teach, el pasado participio es taught, ¿ok? Y el pasado simple también es taught, ¿ok? Taught, taught, ¿vamos? Taught. No se les olvide, no lleva ED. Ok, así que démosle el, la answer. Hoy sí, estamos. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. ahí está. Any questions so far, guys? Because we will leave the, the next exercise para no quedarnos así a medias. Lo vamos a dejar para mañana, ok. Ya, ya prácticamente es la hora. Si no tenemos ninguna duda, guys, mañana vamos a hacer un repaso de las tres secciones que hemos estado viendo estas dos semanas, ¿ok? Eh, y terminamos estas dos, estas dos últimas, estos dos últimos ejercicios, el reading y 
básicamente eso. Ahí terminamos. Ya. Yeah. So, guys, no questions. I'll see you tomorrow if there's no questions, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you see for you tomorrow, um teacher. thank you see for you. participating today and for um connecting to the class. Bye-bye. Take care.